What's going on? This is Alan Bryan, aka Bully the Kid. And today we have an unboxing. This base just came out as of uh, late November, mid November 2022, for those watching in the future. And uh, made a pretty big splash. Like the roll up for this particular base was pretty interesting. And the players, play style is very interesting. Probably already know what I'm talking about. Uh, especially by the title of this video. But uh, we'll, we'll get into that in just a second. Got the box over there. Kick that intro. Okay, so let's go ahead and dabble lightly into this box and uh, see what we got. And in the game of what is Bully going to open this thing up with today, we have the knife. Could you believe that? I got to. I'm looking right at it. Uh, I may not need it, though. That's how life works. Here we go. Oh, that's going to tear my hand to pieces. Nope, didn't need it. Okay. All right, so we're gonna experience this together. We got the uh, Fender little booklet here. I wanna know what's in it. I don't wanna mess it up for keepsake purposes. All right, so uh, thank you for your purchase. Uh, what else we got in here? We got this bad boy certificate signed and stuff, inspected, official like. And then, uh, uh, Got some uh, information for returns and exchanges if you're not exactly happy with it. But it's there. I'll keep that there. And I'll take care of it so it's not lost. Set you there. And see what we got. Jesus Christ. Okay. Another little goodie bag here. So this is like the startup guy. I uh, got a sticker, got the Allen keys, standard issue type stuff. I'll set you over there. So that'll stay with it. And uh, let's pull you here. Okay. Comes stabilized pretty well. It's in the packaging kind of like the uh, Meteora base and the Player Plus type deal. So you got your uh, vendor bag. That's it. That's in there. Set you to the side. So you have the Fender bag. I have two of them. They're really solid bags. They're my gig bag now that I go to. It's really light. Doesn't provide much protection, but getting it there and having all the compartments and all that stuff, uh, especially has a deep pocket here and also a full length pocket down here. And so, oh yeah, case candy. So, these are a thing. Yeah. Definitely gonna be a... Uh, mm-hmm. Yep. That's a keeper. <laughs> and then we have the traditional stickers. Extremely cool. Nothing on the back. Nope. That's... That's cool. Uh, appreciate it, friend. And no, this is not a paid thing. I bought this base. <laughs> so, what I'm going to say about it is my opinion on my purchase of this instrument. So, before y'all be like, oh, I ain't got it for free, I did not get this for free. <laughs> so, there's that. Okay. Relatively substantial. I gotta look up the specs on how heavy it's supposed to be, but I would give it, um, it's not the lightest base I have, but I'll give it probably right around 10, right around 10, maybe a little shy. I can't really, yeah, it's 10 or yeah. So, oh yeah. Now what I'm gonna say is this camera doesn't do this color justice. 
this orange is orange. Like it's neon. So <laughs> it's a, uh, yeah. I want to destroy stuff. Come on. God, no, that thing breaks. <laughs> this might be the funnest looking base I have aside from the shell pink joint I got back there. This, it is, this is not doing, the camera is not doing the fluorescence of this base justice. But this bad boy is hot. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's going to mess up all my stuff in my camera. But yeah, man. So let's talk about it. Initial, uh, initial look. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's the first thing. Uh, yeah. So let's, let's, let's actually go into it. So these pickups, I believe are the same pickups that are in the Meteor base that they released a little bit earlier, just the five string version of it, which is something that I really wanted whenever that base came out, the five string version. Uh, it has a Fender high mass bridge on it, all gold hardware. If you can see that past the uh, fluorescent orange, but it's gold hardware. Uh, the neck is roasted maple with a very satin back on it. Uh, the body's like a gloss polymer type of deal. And then the pig guard is a, it's a glossed orange pig guard too. So that's really cool. And it works together, man. Like it's hot, but oh snap. So it has the contour on the uh, back of the neck, kind of like the uh, Fender American Pro 2 series. And, um, the Venture 2 doesn't have that. The Player Plus doesn't have that. But it's like the American Pro has that contour here. And then this uh, back bezel or the um, neck support, it actually has Mono Neon's uh, likeness in it. I'm trying to catch it. It actually says Mono Neon there. And it goes with the uh, contour of the neck. See the contour I was talking about? So yeah, so that should make it easier to get to the higher register and all that stuff. So that's cool. Uh, four point system, also 18 volt system. Check out these with the quick release uh, battery. Full there. Dropping in there, very nice. Very good, very well kept. And uh, the tuners are standard issue. They're not ultralight or anything like that. Uh, but they are uh, Fender tuners. This base is made in Mexico. And uh, let's see, did I miss anything? Oh, the uh, preamp. So again, like the Meteor or similar to the Meteor, it has a uh, three band EQ with the active passive switch. Don't know as of yet whether or not you can actually use tone in passive mode. So we'll check that out. But it goes, I believe, uh, volume, blend, high, like treble, bass, and I think this is mid, but we're gonna check that out in just a second. And uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and uh, set this bad boy up and we can listen to it for a little bit before I do an actual, well, I guess this is kind of the deep dive type deal as I unbox it, so you're welcome. Now I get more time to jam with it. So let me plug this bad boy up and we'll get started. All right, so plugged in, ready to go. Uh, before I got started, I actually wanted to say this. The neck on this thing is really thin. It uh, It's a it's a C shape, but it's a thin C. So if you can, think kind of like Ibanez type necks, if you play with Ibanez basses or have played an Ibanez bass, uh, specifically the SR series basses, they're really, really thin. So um, keep that in mind. Uh, the fret edges on it, are very well done. That's not a problem at all. The nut I looked up is bone. I just wanted to give you a little bit more uh, stuff on it. And the tuning rod, unfortunately, for the uh, truss adjustment is up here rather than it being conveniently down here. 
So you take with it, uh, take that however you feel, but the general feeling of the bass is pretty good. I'm not, uh, it's not really neck heavy per se. It's about the same as other five string basses, but uh, the feel and stuff like that, it's pretty good. Getting to the preamp in passive mode, similar to other uh, three band systems Fender offers. There is no uh, passive tone control there. So, you know, you run out of battery, then, you know, you, you can still play at least, you know. So let's get into that. And uh, I think I have it in active mode, but I'll find out shortly. Okay. Let's take the mid, put it back in the middle. Let's uh, take the bass all the way out. So it's just treble in the middle, mid in the middle. And it's still between both pickups. I hadn't soloed anything yet. Okay, uh, let's take that there. Let's uh, boost treble and bass and then cut mid all the way out. So we're going straight to the Baskin Robin, the good old Super Scoop 31 flavors. Uh, yeah, between both pickups and then we'll get into the solo situation in a second. <laughs> okay now let's go ahead and put everything back in the center and let's go to the back pickup see what that's talking about all the way up okay so here is one of the benefits of having these pickups in this bass uh, the simple fact that when you solo one or favor one there's no hum that's in there because I assume they're just canceling each other out um, so that's nice, kind of like a humbucker type thing, but more with a jazz feel. Let's do some tuning here. Let's uh, boost bass, boost treble a little bit, and then take back mid, kind of scoop it out. Okay, 
let's uh, go ahead and go to the front pickup. See what that's talking about? Everything is back in the center. really really growly i like that vibe um let's do the same thing a little boost on the bass a little boost on the treble take out mids just a scoosh and uh let's see what we got bit more B action, B string action. Let's go back between both pickups. Uh Okay. All right. So you got to hear it a little bit. Now let's talk about it. The thing that stands out really, really heavily to me is the fact that it's mid range heavy. It just has a bite, like it has a growl thing to it. And um, that's really, really interesting that the, I guess the woods in combination with the pickups and electronics can make it have presence. I can hear this standing out in a mix. I can see it standing out in a mix. And uh, I tried not to get lost in it, but groove is there. It took a while for me to get used to the uh, width, the uh, depth of the neck, because it's a little uh, more narrow than what I'm used to for all the bases I have. But once I settled in, yeah, man, um, it came pretty pretty well set up out of the box for me i normally play with a little bit lower action so if you're a lower action player you will have to set it up uh at least this bass was like that uh so i don't know this is a really good bass like i dig it just like i was digging the uh meteora when it first came out it has those vibes it has that mid-range growl so it's a statement maker in its looks and its uh tone and stuff so Let's play. Let's play around with it. Let's see. <laughs> that's that's not it. I'm not mono. 
<laughs> okay, juices started flowing, started sweating, let me stop. <laughs> so, I'm going to bring this video to a close. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all are just as excited as I am to hear this thing finally in somebody else's hand besides awesome bass playing mono neon. Everything he touches is going to sound great. Of course, the bass that he wants or the bass that he is sounds great so congratulations mono you got a great little beast right here man this is this is interesting i'm gonna have a few more hours messing around with this bad boy maybe do some videos but we're gonna see how this thing goes yeah so till then i've been alan brown aka bullet the kid y'all be easy mono yeah